My name's Duncan and I'm a former brand ambassador uh, based in Norfolk in the UK and I've been shooting photography now for approximately the last 10-11 years. What I really enjoy about photography is, is the ability just to escape from everyday life. So the pressures of work, the pressures of family, getting out into the outdoors and being alone and just having time to myself, time to think, time to relax. Astrophotography is absolutely perfect for that because there's generally less people around. So you go to a lot of the popular locations daytime, ram full of people, go there when it's dark, generally there's not very many people around. You have those kind of really nice places to yourself to focus on and get what you want. Um, astrophotography again is, is something which is um, very, very difficult in terms of the, the camera genre. So everything that you do with the camera has to be done fully manual. So you can't autofocus, you can't really use automatic settings on the camera. You have to absolutely know everything about the camera deta settings in detail. And personally, I think if you can excel at astrophotography, you can carry so many of those features that you learn into other styles of photography. If you can master astro, you can master any other type of photography because you know all of the camera settings so well. So when I first started photography, the thing that, that I really liked when I was looking at like photography groups on social media and the images that people were sharing from a local area, it was always the photographs from nighttime that really jumped out to me. You know, there are so many photographers that are out and about taking photographs of the same locations and the same subjects and 95% of what you see with those is all shot during daylight. It's either sunrise or sunset and there's so few people that focus on those same subject areas at night time and that for me really kind of helps you to, to set out your photography from another photographer. So you know, you go to some of the popular locations in the UK and you see the same compositions in the same kind of daytime lighting environments and it's so rare that you see those same locations being shot at night time. And with some of the, 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 the phenomena that you get with astrophotography, with northern lights, with meteor showers, you know, you can really get something very, very different to, to what most other photographers are, are actually focusing on for their day-to-day -day photography. So it just helps you stand out. I've always had a fascination with stars. Lots of people from a young age, you know, look up to the stars, get a, a basic telescope, look at the moon, look at maybe Jupiter, look at maybe Venus. And you can just get lost in the night sky. You know, there is so much up there to look at so many different constellations. Deep space photography with, with trackers, you know, you can start to go to galaxies and nebulas and you can start to take photographs with, you know, a star tracker, which you can invest perhaps 330, 340 pounds, get a star tracker set up. And you can use your, your, your mirrorless or your DLSR camera with uh, a long focal length lens, you know, 200 mil upwards, and you can start to get photographs of nebulas galaxies, you know, an entire another galaxy with your camera and a star tracker, you know, it's fascinating. There are so many objects in the night sky that you can photograph. 